Hi there Virgo, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at June 8 through June 14 and the best news of the week is Mercury, your ruler, the planet of communication and clear thinking, moving direct in Gemini, which of course is the sign you share with Mercury. You're both ruled by Mercury, June 11. Now it may take a couple of days for Mercury to get its act together. So I wouldn't really start anything new until the weekend, if not next week. Other news is that Neptune, the planet of rose-colored glasses, romance, fantasy, Disneyland sort of stuff, you know, the princess and the pea and all that sort of good stuff is going out of phase in Pisces, your opposite sign. So for those of you who have met somebody recently, romantically, that you think is, you know, the, um, I'm trying to think of a romantic actor, the George Clooney or the, you know, Bradley Cooper of Silver Linings. I'm trying to think of really, you know, romantic movie or romantic movies that, you know, that you wish you were involved in. You may find great disappointment. You may find that this is not something you want to sink your heart and soul into, that the person you are putting your time and energy into is not worthy. So really, it's a wake-up call for those of you who want romance and are looking and hoping for romance to understand that you can't always get what you want. I know that's a Rolling Stones song, but Virgo, sometimes when someone does appear to be too good to be true, the knight on, you know, the white horse, the shining armor, the someone to rescue you, I mean, we are bombarded with these images in Hollywood and on television and at the movie theaters that someone's going to come along and whisk you off your feet and marry you and, you know, you know, despite everything that's going to work out. Unfortunately, some of you are going to have a wake-up call with the opposite effect. And that's just life, unfortunately. That's just the way things work. Now, Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, is also going out of phase or retrograde in your third house of communication. So you are going to have to be a lot more careful the way you address people, the way you speak to people, the way you converse, the tone of your voice are all going to be extremely important. Don't, you know, if you really want to get your message across, you may even have to start writing things down and not be flippant and not say things off the cuff, but just be very precise in the words you want to say because Saturn is going out of phase for three months, whereas Neptune is going out of phase for five months. So we have two strong masculine planets out of phase, you know, for much of the rest of the year. So it's going to be a very interesting time. And of course, both these planets rule, uh, Saturn, I should say, rules Capricorn, your fellow Earth sign, and Neptune rules Pisces, which is your uh, opposite sign. So it's definitely relationship-oriented, romance-oriented. So if you are in the throes of having a very passionate romance, don't get too caught up in it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Be a Virgo. Be smarter than that. And don't enjoy it. I'm not trying to spoil it for you. I'm just saying that this is what Neptune retrograde does. It takes off those blinkers and those blinders and whatever else those horses wear and you get to see the real deal. Have a great week. Great speaking to you and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.